Good morning to you, my name is Nairi and I run an adoption support channel and today I'm just going to do a chatty video. So if chatty is not your thing and you're looking for specific information, tips and advice, then check out the rest of my playlist on my adoption channel, you'll find so much information there. But today it's just going to be chatty and I've got my coffee with me, it's Saturday morning, the boys are out with my husband playing football and so I can update you on what I've been up to recently. So in my last video, I think I mentioned to you that I was thinking about writing a book. So I started writing the book and I think I've made pretty good progress so far. Sorry, that light straight in my face. Pretty good progress so far. And I've done about 8,000 words. So my book is divided into four sections. It's all about adoption and preparation. Um, unfortunately, it's a UK book, so I apologise for those of you who are following me across the world, of which there are many. Um, I'm only really familiar with UK process, so my first book will be about adoption preparation, UK process, but it will actually cover some significant um, subject areas that you'd expect to be covered in adoption. So it's not completely useless to the rest of you, but it's obviously gonna be a lot more useful to UK people. And then I hope to do a follow-on book which will be about when after when the child comes and so that'll be useful for everybody. So that's what I'm up to at the moment. Um, so the problem with writing the book is we've had a few family happenings again. Um, it happened to us about a year ago. One of my daughters is is really really poorly again so we've got the grandchildren a lot again which is lovely but rather than having them once a week we've got them like for two full days a week so less opportunity to write because I tend to write when I'm in like a good place when I'm kind of feeling positive and I've got lots of energy and stuff like that I don't tend to write in the evenings which I wish I could because to be honest there's nothing on Netflix at the moment so I kind of wish I could write into the evenings but it's normally during the day that I write so that might slow it down I would hope to have the book written by April March April and then of course it's got to go to editing etc etc although I will self-publish so that's the book thinking about the channel and what people like and what people don't like so what I've noticed is when I published a video about adoption preparation and the start of the process, the views will be, woo, you know, loads and loads of views on that, which is fine, which is fine, which is good, you know, because I see new adopters are coming onto the channel and they're, they're looking for information. And I think that's probably gonna be more likely that new adopters wanna find out more about adoption. And once you've been doing it for a while, you feel like you know a lot more. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to split the channel into sort of three or four sections in a way. So videos for new adopters and then videos for looking at more like therapeutic stuff. So regression, therapeutic parenting, attachment, all that type of stuff. And then things that may be general parenting. So things about eating and potty training and that type of stuff and resources for children. So it's quite a challenge to keep everybody happy um, because everybody's going to want different things as you can see they're coming onto the channel for different things I've had a few re requests recently which is really nice I used to get requests anyway sometimes through email but I'm getting a lot more on the channel so um, that's really nice so if you're watching and you know that you really want a particular subject then feel free to ask the issue that I'm having in a way is there are now 200 videos on the channel and I do not remember entirely what I did say nine months ago. There's never one subject is there. Yeah, I could talk about attachment but within attachment there might be lots of other things in there. So if you're struggling to find something on my channel and you think I might have it by all means ask me and I will try and drop a link to the, the correct video or playlist into the description box for you. But it may not be that I can find the exact video. It might be that I direct you to a playlist and then within the playlist, you'll find what you're looking for. However, I'm still open to suggestions, so feel free to ask. And then if it's a bit niche and I'm not sure about it, I may not do it. Or I might try something like it and then if people hate it, I might not be able to do something else along those lines. The other thing to say is that I am an Amazon affiliate. So that means that 
if I want to mention a product or I think a product's good, then I can go into Amazon, I can pick up a link and I can put it in the description box. However, if I'm honest, most people don't ever look in the description box. So, you know, I'm not really kind of, I'm not gonna get rich this way. I'm not gonna get rich this way. So if you ever are interested in looking at what, not necessarily what I'm promoting exactly, but what I have in my description box and take a look, there might just be something there you think, oh yeah, I was thinking of getting something like that and then you'll just support the channel. The other thing to say about it, about about me as well, is that, um, again, some of you who've not watched a chatty video like this might not know. Some of you be like, oh no, don't mention it again. So I've actually got an illness now, which is um, facial nerve pain and I have to take really strong medication for it. Not pain relief, but anti-epileptic medication for this. Now, this slows me down terrifically. If you look back over my channel a year ago, I think I've definitely aged 10 years within that year, within the COVID kind of experience and with this. What I've had to do is reinvent my life. Now I was already doing the channel, so I've carried on doing that. And I do about two videos a week, excuse me. Two videos a week. I think during COVID there was a time when I was doing three, but I wasn't too sure whether people wanted that much content and it was a bit like this because I think a lot of adoption channels don't do as much as I do even. Adoption channels that are adopters who are maybe American and do family vlogging, they do more than I do. But people who just give information who have been adopters in the past and they're giving information, that type of thing, I think they would do less than me. So it was down to two videos a week, which is fine. But then I had this thing happen and what I found was uh, for a while I couldn't go out, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything outside the house. Things are a bit better. I still can't do a lot which requires me to go on longer trips or go too far out of the house. So the other thing to say about me is that I do run another channel which is called Plan With Nairi. <laughs> so original isn't it? If you're in the UK you would never have heard of these, I doubt. So. They're happy planners, they're on discs, they come off, um, and decorative planning. So if you're interested, check out decorative planning or stickers on YouTube and you will see there are thousands of people doing this. Not that I realised that when I started. So if you're interested in something more therapeutic, this is how I get my therapeutic needs met. My mindfulness, if you want, then check out Plan With Nairi and see what you think. It seems odd if you've never seen it before because all you see is my hands. So it is a bit odd and I've had to make sure that my nails are always good, which they weren't before. So that's that. Something that happened really nice yesterday. So because of this happening in the family, which, um, you know, I've just cried and cried and cried. It's, I hope I don't cry now. I'm trying not to do that, but um, it's, a, it's a really sad situation and um, I, I just can't see a resolve to it anytime soon. So I've done lots of crying, lots of crying. Like sometimes it just comes out of nowhere. And um, so I've had really sore eyes. And what was really nice yesterday is my husband and I went for a spa day. Now, you don't know us, but people that know us will know that that type of thing doesn't happen. We get on really well together, my husband and I, but we've got different interests. He's one of these people that I can only describe as a bit like a tigger, like he just zooms around. We're in our 50s, but he zooms around like he's 25, and he can, he's really fit and healthy. And he likes to be on the go all the time. Obviously, I'm a bit more sluggish now. Actually going out and kind of spending, not just quality time with each other, because we do go out, we try and make sure we've got like a day a week where we go out together, or half a day, half a day a week. Um, but actually going somewhere nice, because we can go out and just go to familiar places with the dog, but this was somewhere nice. So my kids bought us a spa day. They put money together. And I said to them I didn't want anything at all because, you know, well, we've got five adult children. We've got two adopted sons. We've got a large family. Sometimes with Christmas, it's a bit like, Everybody's trying really hard to please you, but actually all I wanted to see was them last year because COVID had hit and I think everybody found, didn't they, that 
you know, their family meant so much more to them. So we said, don't get us anything, but they did. They put money together for a spa day. I <clears throat> kind of hobbled along a little bit. Something wrong with my knee. Yes, 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 there was something wrong. But went into the spa day and had hot stone treatment, which was fabulous and then the use of the pool and all the spa stuff. I mean, Tim was in and out every sauna about six times, in and out of the pool 100 times. Um, I just did everything twice. I feel rejuvenated. I feel like I've got that little bit of energy now to pick myself up and to get going again, even though, of course, this situation is always happening in the background. Next week is half term for us. I don't know whether it is, if you're American or somewhere else, whether you have half terms like we do, but we've got half term next week. And my son and daughter in law are gonna come and stay with us with their puppy. Yes, should be fun. We have a Labrador, they have a puppy, but really looking forward to that. Our boys, our adopted boys, who I speak about often on the channel, are doing quite well at the moment. I think the younger one is doing a lot better than we thought he would, adapting to the next school out where he's gone. We have had meltdowns, we have had <laughs> drives around in the car for hours on end, that will always be the case, but not as much as we thought we would. And the older one, the only way that he started to struggle now is toward the end of term, where they're testing them, and he just hates that. Or something that I didn't mention to you is if you look back on my channel, you'll see I did um, a vlog of sorting through the bedrooms. I just remembered I never showed you the result of that, but I'm not, it's a bit far gone now. But we sorted them out and we got them into their individual bedrooms. As soon as my son, my oldest son, went into that bigger bedroom, he stopped wetting the bed. Tell me what that's about. I do not know. We had endless nights in this room where we are now, where he, he wet the bed three, four times a week. We got him in there, he stopped. It has to be something emotional, doesn't it? Like we've been told it's bladder capacity and I kind of get that, but then for him to stop as soon as he goes in a different bedroom and now start again, so I said to him, is it to do with this family situation we have? Or is it to do with school? When he gets an EHGP, which is like a, a special needs kind of document, that's the only way I can describe it, we will start looking at other schools or we will encourage him to have an open mind about this because the level of work that he's having at this school will never be the right level for him, no matter what they do. And they're doing a lot. Like he's in classes of five for English and maths and he's never gonna get better than that. But it's still the wrong level for him. He really wants to be at mainstream and we really, really wanna keep him there. However, he's been tested He's just had a history test. He got seven out of 30 and he was happy about that. He got one out of 10 for geography. He wasn't happy about that, but he just shrugs his shoulders as if to say, he, when he revises, he can't retain that information. So when he gets the test, he, can't, he hasn't retained it. And that's because he has severe speech and language delay. It's, it's really gonna be difficult to decide what to do with him later. H however, I think by the time he gets this document, he'll be halfway through the school he's in and you have to ask yourself, friendship-wise, is it worth it? If you've not watched me before, my boys are preteen. So guys, I know this is a waffly, rambly, all about me video. What I wanna say is thank you. If you're watching this video, you're obviously happy to watch a chatty one. So thank you for following me. Thank you for giving me um, the grace and also for encouraging me because I recently have had a lot more people on Facebook and on the channel say, keep going, keep going with these videos. Cause there's times when you think, you know, is it needed, is it wanted? Should I keep going? And if I do, should I just cut right back? I enjoy doing it. I've got so many more ideas still that I can share with you. So I'm enjoying it, but it's really nice to know that you are too. So if you're not subscribed before, this might not be a video that you want to subscribe to, but if you check out my channel, there will be stuff if you're interested in adoption that you will find that you want to subscribe for. So I'll see you on my channel. Thank you.